I'm Suzanne Ridgway, this is Let Us Eat, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a delicious dinner using leftover rotisserie chicken that will feed a flock. And I just want to say thank you so much for everybody who has viewed my channel in the past few days, who has subscribed, helping me get to that 300 mark. I am almost there. I'm so excited. I can feel it. It's going to happen. I'm going to get to 300 subscribers. I have another collaboration video coming up. So make sure you subscribe and click on that bell so you can see that one. It's going to be happening in the next few days. So give this video a big thumbs up. Click on that red subscribe word and tap the bell as I just said so you'll be included in this exciting moment for me here at Let Us Eat. I'm going to turn this camera around and jump right in and show you how to make this chicken cacciatore that will feed a flock from a leftover rotisserie chicken. show you how to utilize your leftover rotisserie chicken to make a delicious dinner which is a round two meal to get more bang for your buck and stretch your budget dollar further and make a delicious meal that will feed a flock. I'm going to show you how to make crock pot chicken cacciatore and this is a pennies to the dollar meal and it will feed six people or more with leftovers and it's delicious and it's a great dinner for any time of the year, especially in the early spring when it's still a little cool out, a rainy day in the summer, in the fall when the leaves start changing colors and it gets crisp out, or on a bitter cold winter day. I'm going to turn the camera over onto the whole chicken to focus on that so you can see what it looks like. This is my whole chicken and what's left over. There is a lot of meat on it. My hands are very clean and I'm going to put this entire chicken into my crock pot and then I'm going to be using one can of crushed tomatoes that are 28 ounces so that's one pound, one garlic and herbs hunts which is One pound, 24 ounces. I'll be using two cans of the tomato paste, and these are six ounce cans. And then one of the puree, which is eight ounces. Then I'm going to use fresh black cracked pepper and garlic three teaspoons each. And I'm gonna put everything into the crock pot to show you how easy this is to put together. My crock pot is preheated on low. I'm gonna take the entire chicken and put it in. I picked this up at my BJ's. Always, always wash your hands after touching poultry or any kind of food. First thing I'm going to add is the crushed tomatoes. I pick up my canned tomatoes at Aldi. Sometimes at BJ's if the bulk is on sale. I like to have bulk on things like this because I use them for all kinds of dinners. And just dump it into the crock pot. This is a dump and go meal or a throw and go meal. My husband's birthday is tomorrow and we're going to go over to Hudson for lunch today and I'm going to check out a Dollar Tree there so I'm very very excited. I don't think I've been in that Dollar Tree in about 10 years so I'm looking forward to it. I'm hoping it's a little better put together than some of the ones out here that just have boxes of stuff everywhere and then when you go back to helping the stuff is on display is sold out. It's such a disappointment. Dollar Tree needs to get on the ball with some of their stocking people making sure things get out for everybody to enjoy them because I hit the Dollar Tree often 
I'm a dog free fanatic. If you watch my channel, I have a player's list with all my Dollar Tree hauls, and I'm now starting a player's list with Dollar Tree dinners. Went ahead and opened all the cans, dumped the sauce in. Normally I would put an onion in here, but I'm not going to because my husband's really not a big fan of onion. I am, however, going to add some dried onion. I'm also going to add a bouillon cube because this is like a stew in between a stew and a soup. Rachel Ray used to do a stoop with rice and it was awesome. Traditionally you can serve this with rice. I'll probably do some white rice to add to it. One bouillon cube. This is a very important pantry staple. If you are starting out and want to stock up on a pantry and you're on a budget, I recommend buying these bulk. I get these at my BJ's. I'm sure Costco's probably has something similar. Dollar Tree does carry like a 10 or 8 count of these, but these last for a very long time and then you have them for a very long time. Now I'm going to be adding in my spices. Three teaspoons of the garlic. This dinner is completely pre-cooked. All it needs to do is warm up. So this is gonna stay and keep warm until I go out with my husband later. Then I'll put it to low. And then keep warm an hour before dinner. And I put in three teaspoons of the black pepper. This is onion soup mix, my dried onion. That's about three teaspoons because the package is now finished. And you're going to mix it as best as you can with the chicken in there. The chicken's going to fall off the bone and be delicious and tender. We decided to do a rotisserie chicken because of all the organizing and cleaning we did yesterday. The landlord was doing some more work in the bedrooms, all three of them. And we were exhausted after a long day. We went over to Albany to the playground. I did some photography. My Dollar Tree haul, I posted a picture of an osprey that I captured in flight. And I'll link that video down below for you to enjoy my Dollar Trees. All those that have joined me overnight, thank you so much for joining me here at Let Us Eat and becoming a part of my family. I can't wait to get to know each and every one of you. Everyone who views, thank you so much. Everyone who likes and dislikes everything I do, I really appreciate all the input and it really helps me out quite a bit. And I'm going to cover this because I'm going to be adding some mixed vegetables and some bell peppers. I have some mixed vegetables here. I'm going to put in about a cup. I'm going to eyeball it. A little more than a cup because I'm just going to use the rest of this bag here. So that's about a cup and a half. Maybe just shy of a cup. It's hard to tell because some of them sank in. And these are pepper strips with onion. I'm just going to grab about a handful. 
And that's where I'll get my actual onion from. My father didn't do a lot of cooking when I was a child, but he did make sausage and peppers and cacciatore. It's one of his favorites. And this is similar to his recipe from when I was a kid. I loved his sausage and peppers. And he also made homemade potato chips that were awesome. He taught me how to make my hash browns. This is going to sit and keep warm until I leave so it doesn't burn. And then I'm going to put it to low for about four hours. rest from the Dollar Tree here and it's red. I like red in the kitchen. Here's what the chicken cacciatore looks like in the crock pot and it smells absolutely amazing already. I am so excited for dinner tonight. I cannot wait. Thank you so much for stopping by today. This concludes my video on making a round two meal with leftover rotisserie chicken that will guarantee to feed a flock. If you're on a budget, this is a great way to utilize leftovers and stretch your budget further and get more bang for your buck. So make sure you click on the like button for this video. It will surely help me out. Click on that subscribe word that will also help me out and tap on that bell so you'll be included in all my upcoming videos. I have some Dollar Tree dinners coming up. A collaboration video and I am going to get to that room downstairs the utility room the water tanked and it's starting to pick back up again and my husband and I are planning on taking everything out and getting rid of most of it we're going to purge toss and keep and donate to get rid of all the junk downstairs that we don't use or haven't used in a few years when you're going through a big pile of stuff if it's seasonal that's fine set it aside but stuff that your children have outgrown or broken, scratched, stained, torn, toss, something you haven't used in a year or more, donate or purge. That's my advice for you when you declutter. I do a lot of decluttering, organizing, cleaning, and grocery hauls, and all kinds of fun on my channel. And thank you so much for everybody who has joined me.